YouTube.com slash official MLGSE2 your source for every single VOD from the winter season showdowns. This is what you're watching right now. Of course, epic best of fives. Every, pretty much every single day at 5 p.m. Eastern. We're about to get into game two of a best of five between Suppy and Maker. And if it's okay with Nick, we'll do it right now. Let's do it, man. Yes. Game one, Suppy looks so insanely dominant. Mm -hmm. Every step of the game was in his control. Maker's got to turn things around in game two. What do you think he's going to do to use we'll see. to try to do so? Of course, you know, I think last game could be characterized by him um, being a little bit greedy, but then making one significant error or uh, mistake, for one might say, as far as you mentioned before the two Thors, uh, when you're trying to hold a third, when a bunch of roaches are coming your way, a very tricky uh, a tricky situation One that ha once that happened, of course, you know, once you're in that place where you're losing all those SCVs. How do you really come back? It's very difficult. So we'll see how Maker adjusts, of course. He is your Blue Terran player in the bottom right-hand location, representing FXO North America. His opponent in the top left is the Red Zerg player, Suppy, from Team Evil Geniuses. And is that a sneaky SCV, or is that a sneaky SCV? I think that would be considered a sneaky SCV. Uh, this is looking like it's going to be a Reaper Rush, which, of course, is one of the strongest openings. Uh, I remember in the... The last, uh, last for Sulky games. I mean, last just was able to do. So Are you kidding? Is he gonna see it? Hold on. I don't. I don't think he will. Actually, looking at the way that the Jordan's waypoint, he's gonna barely miss it. Oh, and look at that. Hmm. He's checking for the more, uh, can like the more usual spot, which would be closer to the base, right, right on top of that ramp, right. But no, I uh, maker. Is very sneaky. He's he maybe he studied Suppy's scouting patterns, or maybe he knows Zerg scout that location. But he's putting it in a spot that that Suppy's gonna totally miss. Interesting, and you know that drone. That's the only reason he was scouting there was to potentially find a proxy play from his opponent. Oh, but Dover is gonna see the SV coming from this angle. Oh, and that should give the build away. Of course, why would SV scout from that direction unless it was just building a barracks? In fact, Dover is gonna head straight to there to, to check out that location. The question is, is what is Suppy can do about it? This build, uh, I've yet to see a Zerg really get ahead. Um, you know, Suppy may be the first. I I've seen plenty of Zergs not take too much damage, but Terran's expanding like a maniac behind this, right? So, uh, it it I've yet to see a Zerg get ahead uh, while while trying to fight his opening. Already, he's chasing SCV with the drone, wants to make sure that uh, no bunker started super early, of course. Drone uh -oh. now pays for that with his life. Yes, the drone oh. is going to die. The uh, drone's going to try to target down this SAV and the bunker. The bunker will have to be. No, the drone is actually going to turn around to try to deal with this Reaper, but Reaper obviously much faster than the drone maker. Great target fire, but the drone gets turned into a spine crawler, and it's the bunker going to get finished. The SAV getting very low on a healthy SAV. So close to that, but he's going to stay alive. He is, and this Reaper is continuing to do damage. These Reapers are so effective. Uh, the first Queen's coming. There's some Zergians. They're going to distract Reaper he a little bit. The oh, he's got it. Got there it. we go. Wow. Good snipe on SCV. Of course, Reapers are going to kite those Zergians all day. But the goal now is to buy time for the Spine to finish. Uh, of course, once it finishes, Reapers can still jump into the main. But at least it's one less area you have to worry about defending. I think he's definitely going to have to cancel that, that bunker eventually. But keeping it alive for now, the two Reapers are going to scuttle out of there. Of course, they have the ability uh, to replenish that health if they're out of combat, which is going to happen right now. And, and he did so much damage. I mean, those each of those Reapers, um, how many kills did they have? Six units lost here for Suppy. So, um, well, I can click on the Reapers, but they're too fast. The, the My Reapers micro, are so it? fast. They have four kills on one, two, two kills on the other. Uh, and he's going to continue to harass. That's an awesome thing. It's like, it didn't instantly win the game yet, oh but, uh, but he's going to continue to do more and more damage, and there's, it's so hard to actually kill these guys. Two more Jones gone, and the Reaper's going to stay alive, and again, they're going to regenerate that health, and they're going to poke around. Um, not too many options, not too many availabilities as far as jumping up and down uh, cliffs on your opponent's national expansion, just the entrance there on the right and on the left. But it looks like Suppy's going to be able to cover those from here. Yeah, he is. He's got the Zergians covering the right side, the spy car covering the, the front, basically. And, and this is a map where the Reapers have to go to the natural. They can't go straight to the main. Of course, that's uh, it's a too high of a cliff. Their jetpacks can't quite give them that much of a boost to go straight into that main. And you know, if he, he can still, what he can do is he can bring that barracks as a, as a scouting tool to give him high ground mission and continue to harass, uh, at least anywhere where the spine core isn't. I don't know if he's going to do that. In fact, looks like the Reapers are just going to um, kind of just hang out a little bit in, in the bunker on defense, but, which is interesting choice. Most players just keep harassing because, uh, 
I mean, why not, right? <laughs> but, you know, Maker's going to sit back, focus on his macro, add in more and more barracks. He's got some Widow Mines for defense, so uh, he'll be good in that regard. No third coming in soon yet. Uh, you know, this is kind of interesting to see. It looks like with that tech map, he's going to try to gear up for some type of timing. Four production buildings before the third command set from Terran will pretty much always mean they're going for a timing tech. The question is, what's going to be the composition? Is it going to be Combat Shield Marine Widow Mine? Is he going to try to add in uh, maybe some Hellions? It looks like going for a stem, so he's going to be waiting for a stem for his timing. Uh, and is it going to be all Marines? Is he going to try to get Medivacs uh, to supplement it? We'll have to wait and see. Adding in plenty of Widow Mines here from this lone factory. Not uh, No no add-ons going down onto that factory. And, you know, Suppy back home, able to get that creep going, considering those Reapers were back home. If we're talking about utilities right now for those Reapers, you know, they could theoretically be trying to deny this creep. Four Reapers oh, yeah. and a Queen is, is fairly good, especially considering you can pull those weakened Weepers, uh, weakened Reapers, say that since I fast back. Um, and, you know, Maker just putting that barracks at the third base, just keeping a close eye on whether or not his opponent is going to uh, expand anytime soon. Behind this, Suppy adding on a layer, adding on some gases, and two evil evolution chambers. Suppy is going to progress up. Uh, it hasn't revealed if it's going to be Zerglings uh, primarily with, you know, Mulus support or if he's going to go that, that Roach route. I would think if he was going Roach route, actually, the Roach one would be on the way. One, he would want to get Roach speed as soon as the layer finishes. So this game not going to go for that big Roach pressure that he attempted last game. Of course, that's a good idea. Look at, look at Maker's composition. Plenty of Widow Mines, Marauders. He's more than ready to deal with any type of Roach aggression. But Suppy's not. Uh, get, actually, wait, he's upgrading. He's upgrading the, 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 the missile attack. Interesting. Is he going to go straight to Hydra, straight to Swarm Host? Or is he just saying, you know what, I'll save the money and delay... Oh, Reaper's doing a little bit more damage here. There we go. Uh, one of them is going down, but taking out some more Zergans, so they can still keep pestering the Queens, keeping tabs on a third base. A lot of Marauders being produced. Two Medivacs as well, and Stim is about to finish. This might be the timing that uh, Maker was looking for. Of course, uh, Suppy, you know, going to have a close eye on what his opponent is doing. He's overload just now dying. Saw all the barracks back to the starport, and of course those two bunkers. Um, but we'll see if Maker decides to push out. Like, I, I feel mean, like he's, he's now, to, right around yeah, now would be As the soon time. as the two Medivacs come out, probably. Yeah. And uh, Suppy should be to have time to produce Roaches, but he's not going to have Roach speed. It's going to be Stim Marauders. And it's going to be a sizable number of Marauders. He can bring the Widow Mines with him. He still has those Reapers there, damaging that hatchery. Uh, the hatchery should not go down. Suppy should be to get units there in time. 14 Roaches in production. But any damage a hatchery takes is going to make it that much easier to kill when a timing attack actually hits. All right, we got Widow Mines scuttling along. Two Medivacs just going to be loaded up here. Oh! He's going to distract. Wait, is he even going to kill? The Reapers is going to kill that hatchery. Oh, oh no, they, they, they got to run away. Run, Reapers. There he goes. He runs. Oh, well, they can't run the anywhere from there. Uh, they can just go down. I mean, they, they can definitely escape. There we go. All right, we have oh. a drop in the main base. Widow Mine's going right to the third. And Suppy going to try to prepare for this. Roaches are here and ready to go. Button they're just going to load up into the two medevacs. So Widow Mine's going to drop. Taking down a queen. There's a second queen. They took down is... two queens. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. There were three queens there. Now there's only one, and it's almost dead. The Reapers, once they heal up, they can finish that queen off. Drop going straight into the main mineral line and get a ferry on over to that natural expansion maker, trying to spread his opponent out as much as possible. Can he take down that third base? Oh. It's getting very long. I mean, help. if the medivacs go there, there's oh one oh. medivac taken up by the spore crawler. A nice win for Subby, but Maker still got uh, a lot going on for him. These widow mines are recharged wow. up. Oh yeah, the widow mines getting a lot of good shots off on the roaches. The third one. Hits oh, the broodings. and the broodings. Bit, unfortunately. Those Widow Mines have done so much, Joe. All the Queens, more Roach kills, and they're not very expensive either. He's going to get some more drone kills here with this drop. Maker putting on a lot of pressure on Suppy here in game number two. Behind this, taking a third command center, so still focusing on his macro, even behind all of this aggression. Two additional barracks on the way, continuing with the Medivac production, Marauder production, Widow Mine production. Of course, has those two engineering bays churning out the upgrades. Actually, oh, did not Is Suppy going to try to test this front? I... Oh, looks like Aren't he there did. Aren't back there? Yeah, there's oh, two Widow yeah, Mines. Oh, yeah, Widow Mines got some kills does there. Does Suppy have an Overseer in the area? I don't think he does. No, he doesn't. In fact, he doesn't have an Overseer at all, but he's got tons of Roaches. But Jeez. Can... Oh, more and more dying. Uh, he's finally going to clear this out with the help of that Spore Crawler for Vision. Such a delayed third base, though. Very, very delayed. I mean, it, it, he built it earlier, but it got killed, and, and now it's not going to get up for quite a while. Maker with, with very uh, very strong composition here of, of heavy Marauder production against a Roach-heavy opponent, plenty of Widow Mines. Uh, 
this is Widow Mines and, and Marauders are the two perfect units to combat roaches, and Suppy's pretty much committed himself to, to using roaches as a, as a large part of his composition. Maker going to be scanning here, trying to identify his opponent's unit composition. Sees all of those roaches there. Uh, there are four Marauders inside that middle back, but nothing to deal with it. Nothing that shoots up in the Zerg unit composition, but that's about to change. We have six Hydras in production here from Suppy Maker. He's not. He has not stopped making those widow mines. Why does he say that he stops? But he has a <laughs> lot of them. Not up until then, he hadn't stopped. Six widow mines. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and right every now. widow mine can do so much damage. In fact, now he's resuming production. I really like to see this. Uh, I feel Terrans don't use those the widow mines nearly enough. Uh, they're not easy because you have to control them, right? So yes. in the midst of everything else, it's an extra thing to think about. They deserve their own hockey group. They sense. do. They do. It, it's an extra thing to keep track of, just like the Protoss with the Mothership Core. But if you can do so, they're so powerful uh, against pretty much everything. This creep is ridiculous by Suppy, by the way. Oh, it is. It is. Just, just I mean, <laughs> just like last game. He's, uh, he's almost beating his opponent to the third base of his opponent. Yeah. And that's, I mean, Maker is now trying to clear it up desperately. Uh, and, and he has to. I mean, he has to. He definitely has to keep that creep off him. But that creep's going to be instrumental in allowing those speed orchards to really. Uh, get in and close the gap with that Bioforce. Alright, big Marine Marauder Force coming in here from Maker. Widowmind scuttling forward as well. Could be scanning, trying to clear away that creep. Uh, but Suppy mixing in those Hydras to this composition. You know, positioning is going to be very important in this upcoming engagement. Also, oh, not losing the, the Widowmines is important too. Maker's going so deep on the creep. This could be extremely risky this far in. Uh, even if he kites back, he'll Well, if he gets attacked creep. really fast, can't he just burrow the Widowmines? In, in a sense? Uh, he doesn't have the upgrade, though, so they're going to take three seconds to bro, and three seconds isn't that long, but uh, it still is a significant time. If you, it's, it's the same time as the siege, siege tank sieging up, right? Oh. A and that can be very significant. Suppy trying to find out where his opponent's ar uh, army is. Oh, Suppy is. cutting off the rally, taking out the units as they run in. Really move by Suppy, splitting his army in two, taking a lot of the rally, but the main oh. fight here, Maker, Maker might have too much. Yeah. Is Maker trapped, in a sense? I mean, he is, and he's losing so much of his rally. He's losing, he's losing Widowmines, Medivacs. Oh, trying to burrow those Widowmines, Suppy splitting up very nicely. Overseer is here, going to start trying to target those down. Flank coming in here from Suppy from the back with those Roaches and those Hydras. Does Suppy have enough to clean this up? He's just going to pick up and run away, but the Hydras getting some good damage oh. done. Only three Medivacs remain. Yeah, picking up and running away, but from supply evenness to, to down by 30. Suppy pulling up some great moves there, just absolutely outmaneuvering Maker, cutting off. I think he lost like 15 food and reinforcements just ran into Suppy's army. The flank was beautiful. He 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 split all way roaches to take the widow mine hits. Everything Suppy's doing is just so well executed right now in this game. Suppy realizing he just took out a large chunk of his opponent's army and knowing that there's a lot in the Medivax doing nothing, he's gonna attack straight into that third base. Look at that splitting away the roaches. There's also a drop in the third base of Suppy. He's gonna desperately try to hold that, but Suppy's gonna be engaging into his opponent on its natural expansion, and does Maker have the proper response? Suppy up 161 to 110 in supply. The drop is eventually dealt with at the third base, and Suppy is not taking any prisoners going straight into the natural. Suppy splitting his army beautifully just enough to hold the drop where the main army does the damage. Maker is having to pull SCVs, and that's never something you want to do as a Terran player. Suppy's reinforcements keep swarming, and he's over doubly Maker's supply. The Medivacs have almost returned home to help help on the defensive end, but uh, it, it's like the fireman getting to the fire when the building's already burnt down. Yeah, the drop coming into his own main base here to try to defend against these roaches and hydras. Suppy spread out a little bit. Maker pulling SMBs, throwing down the GG, and Suppy taking game number two. You know, Maker showed some some really good play in that game with the early Reaper play. I think that did a lot for him. Um, and, and then the follow-up, you know, denial of the third oh. base. The Reapers literally did, li Reapers literally killed that on their own, yeah. which is very impressive. Um, but ultimately, Suppy just uh, able to get a bunch of roaches and hydrogen in the field. The creep was insane, and I just it came down to Maker quite simply uh, putting his army in the wrong position, essentially trapping his main army, and, and Suppy was able to take advantage. Yeah, he did. I mean, uh, Maker was ahead economically. He had even workers, if not better. His third was faster. Uh, the upgrades were slightly behind, but he, he was winning in every regard, and then he just charged his army way deep into creep, got it pinned in the corner, all his rally w was still going ant-like across the creep line, and Suppy beautifully uh, split his army up, cut off the rally, set up a perfect flank, and absolutely slaughtered Maker's army in that Great game. Great play from Suppy. He's going to take game number two, which means he is one win away from advancing to the Winter Championship event. Maker has some work to do. He must win three in a row. Guys, we'll find out what happens in game three coming up.